who was their first child, a baby girl they named Harriet, who died during a six-day labour in 2016, a death that was completely preventable. During those six days, I made 13 contacts with the hospital. I had two admissions. I was made to feel like a complete fraud. I was then left to deliver a dead baby for nine hours. She was completely normal. She was full term. She was warm when we first held her and just desperately willing her to be alive. Harriet isn't the only baby to have died in the Trust's care. It is already under review since July last year, after dozens of babies died or were left seriously injured. But now there are more concerns. After an unannounced inspection by the Care Quality Commission this March found the Trust didn't have enough staff to keep its patients safe. It found not all staff were properly trained that there were problems with the culture of the service, that staff failed to administer medicine safely, and that care remained inadequate overall. But the biggest concern for so many is these are not new problems for this trust. They have been brought up time and time again, and so far it seems no lessons have been learnt yet. It is disappointing that we haven't seen the improvements. We've been really clear that this isn't going to be fixed overnight. But there's hope things might change soon with the appointment of a new independent team conducting a new review. It needs to be done independently, thoroughly, by a team that knows what they're doing, by a team that can listen effectively to families. Families like Sarah and Jack, who the Trust has apologised to. People are leaving the hospital with empty car seats. We had to come and, you know, em like empty a nursery. Like the first walk I took carry on was carrying her coffin. <laughs> and they carry their grief every day, hoping no one else has to feel pain like theirs. Sangi Talal, ITV News, Nottingham.